Adam Schiff talks about legal duty and constitutional duty. It's 6.33 on their time there, which is actually 8.30. It's 9.33 on their time, which is 8.33 here. I just got done watching Adam Schiff on Chris Cuomo's CNN. That was approximately 10 minutes ago. On Cuomo, he was pink-cheeked and pale in the face. Now he comes on here. If you pay real close attention to his eyes. Now look at these eyes here. See that? They're red, okay? That's a really good warning sign that there's a problem that's going on here. They tanned him out so he doesn't have the pink cheeks, and then his eyes are redded out. They did an enhancement on his cleft, and he's much more angry. This is the reason why I think that the Republicans are right, and that they should subpoena him to come forward to testify, to find out why is he running from CNN to MSNBC within 10 minutes of each other to give a speech like this. Whether Donald Trump is guilty or not, you have to wonder about this man and this man's intent for hostility and his intent behind impeachment, because impeachment is a well-meant issue, and his intent appears to be divisive. Listen. So he, he assumes that the political advantage based on Ukraine was what was caused here, but he's not focusing on anything else other than the fact that he believes that Donald Trump covered it up. However, Donald Trump's got his own evidence. He said he released it. He said he felt like it was good. And if Donald Trump says he felt like it was good, his opinion is the same as his own opinion. And you can't find somebody guilty with the intent if Donald Trump's intent was never that of causing a crime or committing a crime. James Comey showed us this. If Donald Trump was too ignorant or naive to know better and he did not have the intent, you cannot find him guilty. And that's the reason why the Senate will not find him guilty. And that there were important factual details and important proper nouns that were left out of the White House. So it's it's about nouns and details, pronouns and adjectives. And so your facts are gonna to come to you dribbling, dribble, dribble, dribble. You're gonna to have to pray, people. Remember, this is a time that they're gonna destroy your government right in front of you.